Good. And the topic today that we're going to take a look at is one that's called da, 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 digital electronics. I need to change my view to speaker view. Who muted me? Did somebody mute me? No? All right, so the next selected topic we're gonna cover is one called digital electronics. And you're gonna take all that Boolean algebra that we recently learned, and we're gonna keep that in mind and bring that into play with learning how to go to these, what we call logic gates, okay? And here's a graphic symbol for what each logic gate is gonna look like. And some of you are gonna go, Oh, yeah, I kind of remember seeing something like that. And this is a use for Boolean algebra. So the two are going to tie together. And I've had ComSci students come back to me or mention to me after they've gone to like Penn State Harrisburg. They felt good because they got ready to start covering this and they already knew what was going on. And that, you know, put them one step in the right direction ahead of the rest of the class. So I still think it's important. Uh, to cover this. Nobody has ever reported back that's a waste of time, but um, I also think they're kind of interesting. A little different, a little break from programming. So let's get ready and take a look at what's going on here. The second column is a list of what we call logic gates. The first gate is this triangle, and it pretty much does nothing, okay? It's just a symbol that I might use. Uh, again, it's called the buffer, and you know, nothing changes on the way. Now there's one that's similar to the buffer and that's the not. And the reason it's a little bit slightly different is that little zero on the end is what we're gonna use for not with all of these gates that you see down below. There's another one, there's another one and so on. And as you know from not, from our algebra, uh, uh, Boolean algebra, it negates whatever the value was. And we've looked at the Boolean tables before. Again, this is all under content on your D2L page. You can grab these and print them out or take them in one note all over them or whatever you need to do to take the notes. All right, the next one. What's that look like? This gate right here, what does it look like? A giant what? This is a participation sport. It rhymes with E, it's a letter. D. Thank you, Travis, it is a D. And this gate, what's really nice about it is it goes with which one of our logical operators? It goes with the and, and, and D. All right, I'm just having fun with you. It. It's the and, okay? It looks like a giant D. We remember from before, and was multiplication. So these two columns should all be good for you. We're not, and actually three out of the four, we're just adding a logic gate. So the way I remember this one is it's, it's an and, okay? This one is something called a NAND. We didn't see this before, but this is the and, which was one or the other, but not both, knotted. And as you can see, if it was straight and, it would be false, 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 true. But when I nod them, I get one, 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 zero. I get the opposite of what's up above. Along with and, we have or. This time it has a curved back instead of a straight back. We have nor, which was, here was or, the not of or. We had exclusive or. That was that one with the zero and the plus inside. Okay, it's the one or the other, but not both. I don't know what that stray line is there, but ignore that. And then we have the exclusive nor, which is the not of exclusive or. Hmm. Questions? Now, if I look at my next page, I have a page of examples. And if I have inputs A and B, what would I get for a Boolean expression from these logic gates? 
And we're going to start out by taking the logic gate and turning it into our Boolean expression. Well, here's how I do it. This is A. This is B. This is B. What's coming out of this gate? Well, again, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to do plus is what times is what? What was plus? Or times and. So this was my or gate. So this should be A plus B. This is my and, which is multiplication. So now I have A plus B times B, but the whole thing gets knotted. So this logic gate represents this. Hmm. You've seen these logic gates before, I hope. Let's try the next one. This is the and. The and is multiply. So A is going in, B is going in. The knot of AB comes out. This goes in, this goes in, the knot of AB plus C. What do you think, Nathan? You still with me? I'm here. <laughs> okay. You starting on the next one? So let's see, the A goes in, this gives me A naught, this gives me B. Coming out of that, I'm going to and it. So this is not A times B. Coming out of this one is the CD, that's the or, but it's really nor because I'm gonna knot it. So this should be C plus D knotted. That's a B knot. To B or B knot? Well, that's not right. So this is a break. So up top here, it's gonna be not A, B. What was this symbol? Good, exclusive or C plus D knotted. That's this guy right there. Coming out of this, C plus D knotted plus B knot.
and it looks like my final answer is going to be this guy, exclusive ord with that guy. Oh, A not B, exclusive or C plus D, that whole thing knotted, exclusive or with C plus D knotted plus B knotted. Now, whew, somewhere along the line, this may have been developed. Somebody did all this and they kept adding it to fix it and fix it. Your job may now be to take a look at this and see if you can simplify it. Can that be simplified like we were doing with all of our Boolean identities? That's what we're going to take a look at next. But we're still practicing with coming up with the Boolean expressions given these digital gates. You good or do you want to try one more? What'd you say, Julie? You're muted. You're one more, please. One more, all right, it's here. We might as well give it a try. I see a lot of people thinking. A lot of people muted. Questions? CJ, what do you think? I think, I think it looks good. Cool. Logan, did you get it right? Um, sure, yeah. <laughs> I feel good about that answer, Logan. Ryan, you good? Barely. <laughs> Barely. All right, well, let's keep doing a couple more. This is actually going to help with our um, Boolean algebra as we do these. Okay. The first one says find all ordered four tuples, A, B, and C, that make this true. So what I need to do now is come up with my expression and then either A, do it in a truth table or B, maybe it'll simplify. And, oh, so I have, a, oh boy, I have options. When is this true? How about we skip one and we go to number two because there's only three inputs. 
Looks like it might be a little easier. Let's try that one. So I'm taking a look at number two and I need to see what comes out of this bad boy. All right, here's an A. That's over there. Here's a B. Here's a C. So this guy, what comes out of this gate? The knot of B plus C? This is B naught. This is C naught. So what comes out of that is B naught times C naught. This is the knot of exclusive war. Goodness gracious. This is going to be B plus C knotted, which is there. Exclusive war with B naught C naught. Okay. And then knotted. And then finally, I have A exclusive or with all of that. How's that look sports fans? It looks hard. All right, so what do you want to do here? Do you want to try to simplify that? Say no. Say no. No. No, yeah, I think I'm going to go right to the truth table. I'm going to go A is going to be true, 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 false, 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 false. I'm going to go B. True, true, false, false. True, true, false, false. And I'm going to go C. So I'm thinking my order is going to be, I'm going to do this guy first, that whole thing. This is going to be B plus C naught. My next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come up with the column for B naught, C naught. I'm going to call this column one and this column two. I'm going to exclusive or those two. Then I can take the knot of it and then A plus that, or A exclusive or that. All of a sudden, my columns don't look so straight on the screen. What is plus again? I say oh, plus and times. Plus is, yes. Or and times is and. So I'm going to take B or C and knot it. What's this column look like? B or C, true or true gives me true, but when I knot it, I get false. 
This gives me true, not it is false, true, not it, it looks like false, 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 true, false, 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 true. What's the next column look like? Well, I'm gonna negate them first, then I'm gonna and them. You can see again, false and, oh, that's false. False and it with true, that's false. True and it with false, that's false. And True ended with true is going to be true. Why is this column one the same as this column two? They have the same results. Yeah, why do they have the same results? Give me a D yeah. word. The Morgans, right? That was the Morgans rule. The knot of A plus B equals the knot of B times the knot of C. They are exactly the same. Okay, so if I exclusive or those two columns, one or the other, but not both, what do I get out? All false. All false. <laughs> If I take A and exclusive or with this column, I'm going to call it three. That means one or the other, but not both. It looks like I'm going to get true, 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 true. False, false. Oh, excuse me. What's this one right here? I'm taking true and false. I'm taking one or the other, but not both. So these are all true, one or the other, but not both. These would all be false. So if I really, really, really took a look at this, this guy is actually the same as what? Just A. Column A. So this is the same as A. So I could eliminate all of those gates and just have my A line coming in. Doesn't matter what B is, doesn't matter what C is. So if I was able to take a look at this and try to clean it up by using identities, it would in fact simplify all the way down to A. Uh, professor? Yes. Question about the column three. Do you think uh, we need a knot for the column three? Do we need. Uh uh -oh. Do we need what? I'm sorry. Uh, so we have one exclusive or two. So we need to nod for this one. You're right. We forgot we needed to nod it after we did all that. So yeah. all of these should actually turn to true yeah. when I nod three. Thank you. No problem. No, 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 no. So what does that change my fourth column to now? It's A exclusive or true or true that is false 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 okay because i'm using a and, and this is false now i come down here one or the other yeah i get true so what does this actually equal not a but not a not a yeah my bad thank you digna good catch Now, hopefully some of you are writing a little more elegantly than I am. And, you know, I, I normally, if I was doing it on a whiteboard, I would have done something like make this red and, you know, have different columns kind of deal. All right, Ryan says do another one. Which one do you want me to do, Ryan? Pick a number. Five. Five. Ryan, pick a number. 
That's number five. Here's four. You want to try four? I guess now? we can do number five. I can do five. Why don't we do four and you all oh. do four first? Okay. I'm not going to help on four. I'm going to play background music. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Can you show it again? I can. I was hiding it. There it is. Hey, Professor. Yeah. When I open the um, file for the digital electronics on D2L, it's uh -huh. like showing up as blank. Can you re-upload that? Yeah. Digital electronic doesn't have any of this good stuff in there. That's odd because I just printed these out at the beginning of the semester. But I will check it out, making note to self. Harrison said he got it. You got the, when you say Harrison, when you say got it, you mean number four or you mean digital electronics? Five. You got- We were five. doing five, right? No, we're doing four right now. It's nice and easy. Okay. I'm gonna see if everybody gets the right answers, then I don't have to do it. Not not D, exclusive or B times the A for five. Four, I found zero, 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 one, and one, one. That was for number four. All right, so did I draw this up correctly in number four? Yes, okay. All right, so let's see what we got. I have A. I have B, I have A plus B, I have A plus B knotted, A plus B knotted plus B. True, true, false, false, true, false, true, false, or true, 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 false. The knot of that, false, 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 true. And now I'm gonna or it with B, I get true, false, true, true. So the three ordered pairs, the first one, the third one, and the fourth one, and I'm pretty sure that's what Harrison had posted. Need to check the chat. True, true, false, true, false, false equals true. There you go. Oh, I need to share a screen.
wrong button. All right, do one more and then we'll call it. Take a look at number five. I went through and got the knot of D, the knot of C, not D. Then I exclusive ordered it with B. And finally, I'm gonna multiply it by A. We know commutativity works. Let's see, I end up with A, parentheses, C, D, exclusive or B. How many rows am I gonna have? <laughs> Let's see, I'm going to do C D not. Oh, hey boy. One, two, three, four. I think you could code this somehow. Sure. You'd have some loops, four loops running through. And we can do knots and everything. We don't have exclusive or, but we could make a substitution for that, right? We can change that into knot of the first times the second plus the knot of the second times the first. C, D, not. 
Did anybody ever go to Ocean City, Maryland and hear of MR Ducks? And it was like the letter M, the letter R, and then Ducks. And then they did all of this big sentence. Uh, it, was a, it was a bar, but MR Ducks, MR Not Ducks. And then it was S A R C D E D B D Wings. No. All right, I thought it was clever. C D Not. Tell me. Bueller. Did anybody get this column yet? Times was and, so and is true when they are both true. False, true, false, 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 true, false, 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 true, false, 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 true, false, false. Next thing was to take the knot of that column. True, false, true, true. And that just repeats. Now I'm gonna exclusive or that column with B. So one or the other, but not both. False, true, false, false, with B. True, false, true, true. False, true, false, false, and with B. True, false, true, true. Finally, I'm going to multiply that by A. I'm going to end it with A. So these two columns, here's a true. Here's a true. Here's a true. Here's a true. I'm going to end it with A. So this column with A. False, 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 false. And these are also gonna all be falses. So if I go back to the question, it says find all four tuples that make it true. Here's one. True, 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 false. Here's two. True, false, true, true. Here's three. And here's four. Anybody get anything different? Did I mess up? Digna, did I mess up? Anybody? It is correct. I think no. so. Okay. And again, if I asked you to program this, you would have to take this one final step. And remember that when I had A exclusive or B, that was the knot of the first times the second plus the knot of the second times the first. So I would have to change this over and do some things, but then I could, you know, have 
two for loops that go zero to one or true to false, write this whole big thing out as an if statement, find out if it's true or if it's false. Questions?